All right, I'm gonna show you my bullet journal. So basically, if you are laid back and okay with failure, this is the video for you. I'm also just showing you what mine like what mine looks like and what I use. I don't do themes, it's not perfect. So remember that going into it. Neither of us are perfect. So don't, you know, just don't expect it and you'll be okay. I gathered some questions from Instagram about bullet journaling and I'm, I answer them throughout the video while I show you my journal. And I will link what I can in the description of what I used. And I also forgot to show when I showed my supplies that I sometimes use old planners and tear out pages and you'll see some of that. So I'm just here to show you what I did and enjoy. All right, I'm gonna talk to you as I show you the supplies I use and I will link everything below if you don't know, like you didn't catch the brand. But I found that the key to bullet journal success, if you're lazy or not as artsy or you just want it to be a little more laid back, um, is stickers and scrapbook paper. Um, it, it's really great because you can just slap it on there and you're good to go and it makes it pretty. And then you're not spending forever trying to make it perfect. And that's the other thing. If you are trying to make it perfect, you will not stay consistent with it and it will not be any fun. So you have to set your intentions, your expectations, be like, okay, this is what I can do. This is what it's going to be. And, you know, go from there. So as I flip through the pages, I'm going to explain how I did my journal. It, you know, I didn't really have a plan. I also started in August. It'd be like that sometimes. I have my year at a glance, except it's just August to December, where I write down, you know, happening events. Then at the beginning of each month, I write down my goals and then do my weekly layouts where I just uh, write what I need to do, like minor orders. And then the layout right after that is my gratitude layout where I just write, like it's like a gratitude journal where you just write something you're thankful for each day. And then I just repeat that. Sometimes I have extra pages where I do something fancy. Usually I don't because I'm lazy. And that's okay. Um, and someone asked me where I get my inspiration from. And probably most of the time to get layout ideas. Pinterest. And YouTube videos. I also go from like pictures that I print on my HP sprocket. And kind of base the layout around that and get inspired from those. Same with the scrapbook paper, I take whatever design I like and just slap it on there and it's great. I was also asked how I stay consistent and how far in advance I plan things out and do my layouts. I am not a planner, okay? That's why I fail at all planners and bullet journals except this one because, you know, I set my expectations low. And I'm like, okay, Katie, each Sunday you're going to sit down and you're going to make your weekly layout and that's all you have to do. And it's a fun, creative outlet. That's why I do it. And to stay organized. If you want to start bullet journaling and you don't know how, or you just have quit before and you're like, peace out. I've done that too. But what has helped me is taking the pressure off of it and having fun. It is trial and error for how you want to do it and what works best for you. But look on Pinterest. You can look at mine and take bits and pieces from those spreads, obviously they don't have to be just like them because we are not perfect. For example, this is a spread where I forgot to do the spread and I was like, you know what, I don't care. But this one, look, I came back, made it cute. Look, another cute one. There's gonna be ugly ones and there's gonna be cute ones. And that's okay because our goal is to be creative and organized at the same time, not perfect. All right, all right. So I hope this was helpful in some way or just inspiring. I get very inspired by looking at other what other people are doing, not copying them because we don't do that here. But making it your own, getting ideas, inspiration, okay? My spreads are not groundbreaking, I know, but I think that's more inspiring to see someone. I mean, yeah, I letter and if, you know, I sometimes incorporate like artsy things that non-artsy people can't do, but you can find a way around it such as stickers. You know, I've talked about stickers too much. You make a mistake, slap a sticker over it. Like, it's great. So creating perfect lines and boxes and perfect spreads, like that's not fun for me. 
and I do not find joy out of doing that and if you don't either that's okay there's a type of bullet journaling that you can do like this okay I am I just think it's important to find creative outlets even when you're not an artsy person or you know art is my job I'm creative all the time but not always because I'm doing orders you know so this is a way for me to be creative just for the heck of it and that's important for me and it also keeps me on track with doing things and being organized and it makes it fun I hate being organized I'm a messy person um, so this helps me have fun with it so that's my um, TED talk I hope you enjoyed it and I will leave you now goodbye